Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and in this shift we're going to talk about the shift of people and you need to understand guys, first of all let's think about and talk about what we talked about so far. So we talked about the fact that you must have the right business strategy and vision and to begin with the right values and process and, and the mindset and the, the business is always a mirror of who you are inside and unless you have those things you can't become the owner, shareholder and a visionary because you don't even have a vision or the right mindset yourself. There's no way that other people will listen to you and follow you with your path. So that's the first thing we talk about. The second thing we talked about that you got to have the right business development strategy. And unless you have that and you know what exactly you got to do organically and by acquisitions and internally, organically, how to make sure your systems are right and it's actually implemented and you're tracking the right KPIs and you have the right goals for each member and the right roles for each member and everything is structured very, very clean and simple for everyone to understand. You can't move to the next phase, which is capital. You got to have the vision. You got to have the right strategy and the right development, the right business development strategy. And then you got to have access to capital because if you don't have access to capital, there's only so much you can grow. And even if you try to always grow organically one client at a time, it's just going to be so slow growing one client at a time. Yes, you can do that, but you can do so much more guys and you're capable of so much more. So capital is what can give you that acceleration, that access to go out there and also grow organically and bring good people and innovate good products internally, but also to go out there and buy good companies out there with access to more products, more cash flow, more good employees. You can sometimes be that, that employee there can take over your role. So you can become the CEO or just the, like we said, the owner, the shareholder, and then be just a wealth builder and the Warren Buffett of your own business. And now today, when we understand all those good, we have all those fundamentals, now it's about bringing the right people to each of those roles. So we understand what are the roles, we have the vision, now we got to make sure that we're bringing the right people on board to implement those things because that's the most important thing. Unless you have the right structure to bring the right people into those places, everything is going to be in chaos. If you're going to bring people first before you understand how you see your vision to that business, things are going to be in chaos and that's what happens to most people, to most companies. They have just random employees doing random stuff. No one's really know what exactly they're responsible for and they don't have a process to even know if those people fit those specific roles in those businesses and that's what destroys so many people. And I, I don't remember in which specific book from Jim Collins he's talking about the fact that it doesn't matter where the bus is going if you have the right people on the bus. If there's good enough people on the bus, we'll take it to somewhere good. But I'm here to tell you, yes, you got to have the right people, but I'm here to show you the path to, first of all, make sure that you have a path to bring in the right people on board to show them there's something to work for, that there's motivation. And you'll see when you have the right purpose, the right purpose and vision and structure, the right people will come to you because they want to work on something like that, something with a purpose. Money isn't the biggest motivation for employees. It's many other things. And if you only think about the fact that, you, yes, I'll just pay them a little bit more and they'll be fine. Yes, obviously you want to pay them um, well, good enough salary for people in those specific roles. But in the end of the day, unless you have the right vision, the right purpose, no good person will follow you. You'll bring average people and average people will produce average results, which will end with average business that you own and have a hard time to step back and own as the visionary because you don't have good enough people to run the day to day. And to bring good people, like all of the other ships we talked about, it's about mastery. It's about really committing and devoting time for that process. So if we talked about a vision or the, the structures of a business or now of the capital or now about the people, you got to really devote time to each of those things every single day in your business, if it's your existing business or if it's for a business that you want to buy. And you got to have a process that you follow in again and again and again to bring the right people. And you got to do things that are not common. If you're going to post on all the other sites that everyone else is posting to find employees, you're going to get mediocre, mediocre results. And mediocre results in people will result in mediocre business. It's that simple. And it's crucial, guys, because bad employees can cost you millions of dollars, literally. The wrong person in the wrong seat can cost you millions of dollars. But the right person, the good people out there in the right seats based on their, uh, I guess, character, because you want to make sure that everyone you bring to the table have the right character to each of those roles that you have in the business. And unless you have the right people in those right seats, you can, it can cost you millions. 
if you bring the right people to the right seats guys that can be the difference between you growing hundreds or thousands of percent every year and you're not growing at all and stalling and literally staying on a plateau and thinking that you're all good you're resting on your lowers and then you can't understand what happens and then in a, in a week from now or in a few months from now or in a year two three from now you have to shut down the business you have to liquidate because you don't have those fundamentals to begin with and because you don't have the right people in the right seats to move everything together towards the same vision and your vision it's your vision as the visionary as the what we said the owner shareholder the owner investor and someone who want to be a wealth builder and not an employee manager who's stuck in their rut in the day-to-day -day boring stuff and when you have all those fundamentals that's how you can take things to the next level and we're going to talk about that in the next video